Guys, it's May 19th. May 19th. It's May 19th. And I want May 19th. Uh, I am May 19th. That's the best part of today's episode because it's May 19th and it's May 19th. May 19th. May 19th. May 19th. May 19th. Oh, guys, 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 Kane's outside my room. Good. Kane, he won't. I'm not letting you in. I'm, yeah, shut the door! You should probably shut it. Is he petting your dogs? No, I don't. <laughs> Welcome, to, yeah, that's May 19th. Welcome to May 19th. It's Smack wow. Up. We Did got... you know that it's May huh? 19th for SmackDown, but it's also May 19th? Yeah, it's, today it's true. is May 19th, 2024. We are recording the May 19th, 19th 2006, 2006 episode. Exactly. It's crazy. Dude, incredible! Look who's here today. We got who's Pete. here. Oh my god! We got Joe. Hello, it's me. Nico's back this week. Get him out of here, Nico. How did you slime your way back? Because I do it what I want. Because Raw Down is still number one, and I brought back up this time. And That's bullshit. I left the door open for Nico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Handling, jumping, I'm jumping ship. A special talent this week. Yeah, this wow. week he's he's Kane's handler. We got Dave on. Yeah, and we're not talking, we're not talking, Bowflex Cane or Green Cane. This is Red Cane, oh, Red yeah. Sauce Cane. This is yeah, name brand Cane. Yeah. Oh no. Not, not Keep no it away from nothing. me. We're in Albuquerque. They just let him goon, bro. They what? could have let him have a nine-hour goon session. He would have been fine. Who let us in Albuquerque, dude? Albuquerque, New Mexico. This is the uh, Breaking Bad episode of SmackDown. Does yeah. do y'all got the yeah. go machismo? Home, the Judgment Day. We got the machismo guys. We got the machismo. The machismo mm-hmm. guys. I'm not even fucking around. When I was watching this episode, I thought, "Am I watching last week's episode? <laughs> Am I just watching?" Because the way it the starts off, before. it's yeah. the exact same thing we've been. Hello, saying. Hello, amigos. Do you like, got fuck. the machismo? Where's Cap Hello. at? Hello, oh, he's Marcos. not here today. My name, uh, Mochismo. Oh, that's crazy. I literally had to click through the episode and check to make sure. I'm like, am am I wasting my time right now? (laughs) No. That happened to me last week. JBL's back, guys. He's here. He comes out of the limo. He's like out of the the (laughs) sunroof. Hanging out the sunroof. He's getting his wiener sucked. You can't see it, though. He's like, we're we're in the illegal capital of New Mexico, Albuquerque. Wow. That's right. That's fucked up. Yeah, yeah it was fucked up. Ray Mysterio. getting sloppy as we speak. The Machismer. The Machismer. Himself still has an open challenge tonight. If he's as strong, if he's a strong Mexican like he says he is, then he'll still fight the Great Ka- uh No, he, he got no, crushed he by the Great Kali last week. But if he's still as strong as he says he is, even though he's a foreigner, then he'll accept the challenge tonight. A mystery guest he says so we'll put his head to the fire i wonder who could, that could be he keeps dropping the machismo line and then he's like it means you got more guts than brains and then he hits him with you latinos have that passion but passion don't pay the bills that's right oh. yeah jbl uh excellent heel today by that i mean he did okay he's so racist yeah. He's so racist. So racist. There's nobody being avidly Very. racist like JBL today. No. I'm pretty sure they get that show cut off the air. But, listen. You want to know what? He just wants to know, you know, like, what machismo means. Because he keeps saying he doesn't even know. He thinks it means more guts than brains. And he says that was why he was able to beat Eddie Guerrero back in the day. Because he mm-hmm. has machismo. Mm-hmm. Eddie had heart, too, but... Ray, passion doesn't pay the bills. That's right. Yeah. You know, please God, let them stop parading Eddie's corpse. Please, never gonna stop. Oh my God. No, we need Just to keep parading second. Eddie's corpse. He's not dead enough. The, the rigor mortis is fully set. The body is rotting away. But God, my God, can we still make money off it? Uh, That's right, baby. Eddie it doesn't stop for at least sixteen Ed- more years. Uh, Eddie, please stop having right me fight big dudes. <laughs> weld Eddie's corpse onto a fucking tractor. 
Oh, hold on. Technical uh, issue. Technical issue. Dave, your mic is chopped. Typical raw down. Yeah, raw down. Okay, right, repeat, repeat, repeat. Oh, they're gonna weld Eddie's corpse to a tractor, and drive him around. I'm oh, ready. Yeah. For it. yeah, definitely. Absolutely. We're gonna get, we're gonna get masthead Eddie Guerrero's corpse. <laughs> oh. The and then, and then JBL just like drives off somehow. Like he was able to like, you know, his driver, his driver <laughs> left. It's in a reverse. No, the driver left, dude. The driver left. He went to the crowd and dipped because he was in fact Mexican. He didn't like what he was hearing. So JBL had to Ooh. angrily get back in his car. No, his big limo. No, the guy reverses it. He backs it up like Terry. Like, like Terry, back it up, yeah, Terry. Wild, back it up, wild, Terry. He's back still getting ahead because he's naked from the bottom half. You just can't tell. You're telling me after 40 years I could cut a racist promo and then they'll drive me out of there. So he's getting service <laughs> from the front and back. Yeah, we get we get a shot of the limo backing up, and then we cut to Michael Cole and Taz discussing the the words that JBL just uh, informed us of. <laughs> and behind them, there's. Uh, Somebody brought a sign of custom, like, like M and M's, uh, that I think is supposed to be uh, Mercury, Nitro, and Molina, but I can't really tell. It could also just be like them. Yeah. Which I thought was funny, and he flips it over and it says Charlie. I'm like, all right, Charlie <laughs> well, or Cooper or whatever the fuck. Cooper. Johnny, Johnny is the green M and M. Everyone knows. I'm saying. Man, All right, and then the peanut M and M's come out. Merch, the Mercury, Mercury, Nitro, the Molina. The peanut M and M's. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's Rick one Harper thing. I don't out. know if yeah. this is normal, right? But the the announce the announcer refers to them as a threesome. It's I a think threesome. this is the first time I've ever heard it. What, what, well, no, it's it last it's, week. it's the Fink. Tonight we got the Fink. We got Fink yeah. tonight. Yeah. yeah. But he calls them. A th- the threesome known as Eminem or some shit as they come out. Oh yeah, yeah, he did. Well, you know, yeah. every every entrance, she kisses Nitro and Moline, or and Mercury on the cheek. So- mm-hmm. Sources are telling me Howard Finkel refers to Eminem as the threesome that contains the the, the World Tag Team Championships. Yeah, that was that was a weird one. I gotta say, that felt <laughs> a little forced. Felt a little strange. You could have totally said trio. There's plenty of other words you could have said. I think we're just having yeah. a good time, dude. No, yeah. yeah. I'm well, not going to hold it against the Fink, right? Yeah, next but... we got Jillian Hall coming out. And I, I, I... Oh, hold on. No, we got to. You can't out. just do that. What? No. You can't just do that. She do the split. We got to yeah. talk about Oh, it. she yeah, did she do the split. split. Raw, she did do the split. Raw down boys. How do you feel about she do the split? You go crazy, huh? She do the split. We go she crazy. She do the split. You go crazy. I'll, I'll say it again. Like, Melina should absolutely be on Raw. She's too good. <laughs> Taz, Taz and Cole have a, a mild banter about knee pads and how much Michael <laughs> Cole loves knee pads. Oh my. What does that mean, guys? Can one of you explain it to me? Well, we've seen Melina's know. wearing knee pads tonight. For what? Oh, yeah. yeah. And they're looking and they fine. It's, it's good on her fashion. So, mm-hmm. like, it's a, it's, a, it's a purely a fashion thing? Nothing yeah. else? I think it's a fashion I, thing, yeah. No, no utility yeah. to get out of them? No utility. Well, maybe, like, oh. if you trip, you, you know, hurt your knees. Don't scrape yeah. them up, you know? Oh, it's for yeah, that, yeah, like, you fall over. Uh, it, it's some good contrast. But then yeah. he says Michael Cole really likes it. Well, hold on. What does that mean, We guys? got We got a sponsor maybe, calling Maybe up. he does a lot of gardening. Guys, I got a sponsor. Oh, oh a yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, well, hold on. I, guys, I got a sponsor calling up. Who's well, the you know, sponsor? When, you know when the sun is out. BJ's you know, Wholesale is sponsoring us today. What? BJ's Wholesale, oh. dude. Oh, wow. That's where you get your shovels. You get your lawn care products. You get groceries. And you can get uh-huh. a, a mask to put on your face so that you can hide it when you're when you're running down to the ring. So get going down the BJ's wholesale, get your knee pads as well. Yep. Joe, what do you? How do you feel about that? And your wrestling. Joe, you love BJ's. This is this is a bit you allegedly have reminded me of that I don't even remember existing. Uh-huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Sam's, Sam's, Sam's Club is better. Sam's Club is better. You're right. Sam's Club better. <laughs> Sam's Club. Look, I don't know. Look, Sam's Club doesn't have the chicken bake, but I know for a fact BJ's doesn't have a chicken bake. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You're right. That's crazy. Look at dude. look at your gas from a, a wholesale well, warehouse store. Year year. But yeah, Jillian Hall comes here, 
That's crazy, dude. You look at her and you go, why is she wearing a, like, trash bag? Looks crazy. <laughs> wearing a tra- she's wearing, like, dude, leather. It, it was awful, yeah. man. She, I don't Truly, know what is going on it, with it. it? It was a bad outfit. And I can I say something about the attire of the women? Oh, uh-huh. please do. You're our woman correspondent. Like, even last week when they did the whole, they pulled, like, her skirt down. Like, the SmackDown women dress so much more respectably. Yeah. Then, well, because if that was a Raw segment, that would not be, like, regular panties anybody would wear. That would be, like, the tightest, smallest thong they could find. Yeah, because I think was... Melina, I think Melina's wearing what she was wearing last week when she got pants as her ring yeah. gear. <laughs> so, I mean. Yeah. No, right? And that's what I'm thinking, too. And it's like, and I think possibly it's because Vince isn't on the show, because Vince was on the show, which, I mean, he's there. Yeah, but, Vince was but, on the show. Vince is on the show, so he can't molest either of them. I agree. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, already. Yeah, I mean, Joey's outfit's awful, but it's like, it's definitely easier to watch if you get uncomfortable by the, uh, strong sexual nature of the raw women's division right i thought this match was the best match of the show i'm gonna say it right now i'm gonna say it right now this is the best Whoa, match of the show best really? match of the show because i like kendrick in london they, they're crazy does it mean they do some cool shit yeah i love the cool shit but i don't know yeah it'll I mean, be pretty better. good like transitions Fine right day. like Fine. it goes to commercial right away after the brawl when the bell rings and then we come back and Mean Kendrick people. has got uh, Johnny, Johnny, whatever the fuck his last name is right now. Pick one. In a fucking Johnny Smacko. Oh, jo- Johnny Smacko. Johnny, Johnny Fabuloso. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! He's got Ooh, Johnny, Johnny Comet. What the fuck is that yeah. smell? In a headlock. It, and he tries Smee. to get out of it, but gives him like a satellite bulldog to keep the headlock in. Just like top view, top top level overview of this show. Like it's not that hard. Just say this is the best match. Like what? What's it competing against? Uh, Lashley squash match. Uh, Gunner, I can't stop shitting my pants. Scott match. Yeah. Uh, and, <laughs> and a Rey Mysterio non match. A Mark Henry squash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, on. you Rey leave Mysterio Gunner Scott Rey alone. Rey. He's doing Trembaloni. <laughs> yeah. You're How right. else is he going to compete with Chris Benoit? Dude. Crispin. Mercury, Mercury, and Johnny. Uh, May nineteenth was uh beating the shit out of Kendrick the whole match. It was insane. Like mm-hmm. that man got his arm broken, his leg broken. He didn't know what to do. Taz had his ear. <laughs> Taz, Taz was on one always. That's why I love it. Uh, yeah, I mean this now. this was a good match. It wasn't. Hey. It wasn't uh, RVD. Uh, looking at Chris Masters two hours. So. <laughs> as as gives us the wonderful insight of this is a mixed tag match, not inter intergender. Thanks, Taz. I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't. I was wondering if Brian Pillman was going to beat up another woman. Brian Pillman. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fair enough. Hey, man. You know. Listen, man. This is Molina's first match of 2006. Brian Kendrick. Whoa! <laughs> I know you meant. I know you meant. <laughs> I didn't know if you were cooking with a past reference or something. No, like, no, you're right. You know what? I'm I'm right both ways. Keep it in. Fuck okay, it. fair enough. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. The Our first match of 06, huh? Yeah, it's Molina's <laughs> first match of 06. <laughs> Green. Molina is Molina is a twelfth man. Another, another yeah, man. I don't know what uh, was cooking with the crowd, but when fucking Jillian got the hot tag, the crowd went crazy for the women just fighting. I don't. Yeah, it was the hottest thing on the damn show. You couldn't stop yeah. them cheering. Fucking loose. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember who said it on commentary, but someone brings up the word schnai. <laughs> I don't uh, know what the fuck they were trying to get across, but they say schnai. schnai. I think it was probably Taz. But he says it, schnai in some oh, regard. Yeah. Well, yeah, no. Kendrick Kendrick and London were acting pretty schnai, and uh, they hit a double drop kick on both Nitro and Mercury to kill them out of the ring. Jillian mm-hmm. climbs up to the top rope and hits a flying cross body that almost missed, and they get the, the win. Greatest, yeah. The greatest cross body we've ever seen. Paul London, Brian Kendrick, and Jillian Hall are your victors. 
They're Yay. undefeated. They're undefeated against M and M. Yeah, the last five matches. Mm-hmm. We'll see how that happens at the fucking pay per view in Ooh. two days. Ooh. Champ, Surely maybe? nothing could go wrong. It's no, we got in the back here. What could possibly go wrong? Guys, tell me about this Mark Henry fucking package, dude. Oh God, yeah. Well, the after the match, crazy. we get the press conference for Judgment Day. Eh. Interview some guy. He's like, "Yeah, Judgment Day. Woo!" <laughs> <laughs> what did he know? You know, he, dude. What do you mean? Have you seen Judgment Day? Oh man, I haven't Can't seen it. Yeah, I, I don't big know. Big fans of Judgment Day. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, Mark Henry uh, gets up there in a suit that isn't bright pink. <laughs> he says, "So I'm gonna do it to Kurt Angle." Booker yeah. T gets up there. He said, "I will legally change my name to King Booker if I win the King of the Ring." Yeah, the most coded thing possible. And, and then, and then JBL is like, "I'm going to be double champ. I'm going to be the first U.S. and World Heavyweight Champion." And then Rey Mysterio goes up and says, "JBL, I'm walking in there as champ. I'm going to walk out as champ." And JBL takes that really offensive. He has to be held back by Mark Henry. <laughs> So he doesn't assail Rey Mysterio at a press conference. Like, damn, dude, he didn't really yeah. even say anything. Well, how dare Rey Mysterio? I know. Do you guys, do you guys notice the song playing? Yeah, it's this Fire Burns, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the theme song for Judgment Day 2006. Yeah, that's right. And then, and then they'll never use it again. Never. never. That's Randy uh, Orton's uh, theme. Wait, are you sure? It was sure? Randy Orton's theme. It was the Judgment Day theme, and then we just never hear it again. There, There's I'm, no potential reason this expands my theories at all. Dude, Spotify must have an error because, like, I, I checked the song because it's on the Reckless Intent album with yeah, all yeah. the themes. Yeah, mm-hmm. they don't list it as the Judgment Day theme or Randy Orton theme. It's what? Some, yeah, what? some. There must some, be some kind of glitch. It's a mistake. Yeah, it, it's some guy. I'm not. I think I don't know. Maybe it's a thing. Maybe, but I don't know. It was weird. I I contact Spotify. I hope they fix that. You know, it definitely didn't sound punk rock, so I don't even know why they talk about, like, you know, like, punk music, but whatever. Uh, might, might have been in a Pepsi commercial. Uh, maybe. Pepsi. Might, might have been Pepsi related. Might have been, I don't know, could have been even something related to come. I don't know. Maybe. I'm just I'm just saying shame on you, Spotify, for fucking yeah. that up. Spotify, Spotify shares too many lies. That's yeah. why they have Joe Rogan on there and not us. <laughs> Yeah, Ooh, true. this is true. Come yeah. on, Spotify. Spotify, you are on come watch. You watch Spotify, you. you are a certified comer. Now go come. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what else happened in this fucking <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck else? Oh, man. I don't uh, know. You know, Kurt Angle won all the medals at the whole Olympics. Mark oh, yeah. Henry didn't get none. I also want Mark Henry be- for being a broke boy in terms of Olympic gold medals. Yeah. Oh, he I, says, go ahead. I was going to say, I love how he's like, yeah, we were both in the 96 Olympics. I want to go medal. And, and Mark a Henry, pause. Yeah, he won. Wait, you didn't win anything, did you? I loved that so much. Uh, that was probably the meanest say, thing said in oh, all yeah. 2006 at this point. <laughs> he's so real. Yeah. It's just, it's, it just both so hard. It's like more, more mean than all the racism. Mark yeah. Henry, you didn't fucking, you didn't place. You didn't get out of yeah. podium. Yeah, Mark Henry, idiot. you dedicated your entire life to go to the Olympics and you fucking lost. Yeah. I didn't. And you blame me for losing the belt? You're damn right. <laughs> damn right I did. <laughs> it's like, gosh, damn good. That, he's a deep cup. So he might actually kill you. This is going to uh, be man. interesting for the po- or for the, the pay-per-view, dude. Yeah. Yeah, so. I mean, hopefully, it has more heat than the fucking first match at Rumble. No. Oh, no goodness. Way. What? No way. No way. You're telling me after 40 years, we'll get a good Kurt Angle Mark Henry match? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kurt, Kurt Angle says he's not like Batista. Uh, you're not going to put me away on the shelf for a long time. See, the secret here is that Kurt Angle's already had penis surgery four times. It's true. Oh. You can't break a man's penis when they put steel rods in it. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Steel penis. I, uh... I'm I don't about... like Val Penis. Val Penis, dude? 
what, what else on the show? That guy? I'm we just, you know, I just on the scale of like deal to that. <laughs> we got uh, you come back from break. We got Jared Steele in the ring. He's chilling hold on, out. Hold on. What? You can't just dude. come back from break. We got bills to pay. We got a we What's got a sponsor? smack of the night brought to you by AutoZone. AutoZone. Oh, get in the zone. AutoZone. Okay, and DS, right? Yeah, DS we'll get, touching yeah, is good. Later, yeah. yeah. I, I was touching shocked. is good. Touching yeah. is good. <laughs> what a Dude. fucking quote. I, the tagline's what perfect. Was Japan cooking. I, I don't know, but I was shocked to see Curtis Axel in the ring. <laughs> Curtis Axel. That's Back what he looks section. like. I that's know, not dude. Curtis Axel, and that's not the smack of the night. The smack of the night, <laughs> unceremoniously, is uh, Bobby Lashley beating Green Kane last week to move Bullshit. on to yeah. the King of the Ring finals yeah. in Saudi Arabia. Bobber Gwash. Bobber Gwash. Gwash. All right, here comes Bobby with his Nintendo Bobber. DS. <laughs> He's about to pick their chat all over this fucking guy. He's still playing Super Mario 64 DS, or is he playing a new game? I think he's playing uh, Mario and Luigi fucking Superstars or whatever. Oh, okay. Whatever the fuck that game was called. Luigi. Yeah. Uh, fuck. I think Superstar Saga was on the Game Boy Advance. So. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby good, Lashley's good one, Mario guys. had. Monster Hunter 3 <laughs> Ultimate on a Nintendo DS. Woo! Woo! Fight Legai, Chris. It's really hard. Yeah, so Bobby Lashley has a match against a guy that looks like Mark Marrow. <laughs> no, hey, dude, it's gosh, Curtis Axel. Too. Look at him. I put yeah. him up on screen. He does not look anything like Curtis Axel. There you go. <laughs> look at him, dude. No, no, that, that's he's giving the vibe of Curtis Axel. Yeah, like, it, it's like, energy. Yeah. In his energy, it's not yeah, guys. Look I've seen vibe. Curtis Axel once before in my life, probably, and I think that's him. <laughs> it oh is. yeah, dude. I mean, he's got a little more hair, but it's, yeah, it's him. Yeah, that's he got the Rogaine bad. sponsorship back in. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, true. I guess and I then, then lost it promptly. That's you know, definitely maybe, a Curtis Axel vibe. Yeah, he maybe. Yeah. He's up. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you're right. Burden. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, Bobby Lashley just fucking kills this man, and yeah. <laughs> that's about it. He Why almost uh, he, he almost dropped Why him on his vertical this? suplex. It was just like Bobby Lashley picked him up, and then he's like, "Oh, uh, this guy's a little heavier than I thought." Oh, yeah. I like how he scuttled away really fast, like a Kermit fell on his back. Yeah, he gives him the giant spear and kills him. I don't know why it took two minutes for him to finish this man, but. He was scared. Leave him alone. What the fuck was yeah. up with this jobber guy? Because he like I've never seen him like get out of the ring, and then he gets back in. He gets thrown again. He goes out to the ring. He's like, "What?" And he gets mad at the ref. Starts slapping his hands on the apron. He's like, "I'm not a jobber." That was a real match. I'm not a jobber. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it, it was he trying to like uh, fucking uh, He's trying to hype he, himself up. Or I'm maybe Curtis Axel. God damn it. How annoyed he was. I'm just like, who I am. Oh, real, he was going into business for himself. He's like trying to like get a deal or something. So he's like upping the ante a bit. Be like, look how good I am. No. Oh, like, yeah. They're just calling you to like get squashed, buddy. Calm the fuck down. Right. Yeah, dude. You hit, you hit two like back punches. Amazing. Uh, do you like getting in Dominator and dropped on your ass, bitch? Yeah. I actually don't give a fuck about this guy. Nobody should. Lashley gets out of the ring. He gets all the way up to his throne. He's about to sit down in the throne to taunt. And Booker T's, can you dig it, sucker? Can you dig it, sucker? Can you dig it, sucker? Oh, Bobby's pissed. Yeah. Who's trying to, who's trying to try my... out the King of the Ring gear? Uh-uh-uh, not on Booker's no, watch. Booker uh-uh. gets up in his face, and Booker no, no. starts yelling at him, then the fucking Sherbell's like, hey, get, get get out! No, no! We're not fighting, now. <laughs> my God, dude, Bobby, he was ready to just set his keister on that fucking zone. He was so Bobby. mad. He just wanted to sit after that long match. Any of the Raw freaks want to talk about the Raw rebound? So, hold up. Yeah. Before we get into that, I need someone to look up in the background. Look up this guy's... Uh... Look up this guy's cage match, the jobber. Curious. What's okay. he been up to? I got you. Well, continue oh. about the raw rebound. Alright, well... So... Sorry. Ah, fuck. I- I'll say it later. Anyways, so basically <laughs> we get a... <laughs> we get a viewing of what happened. I- raw! 
with the uh, main event where it's Kenny with Shawn Michaels and Shane McMahon is the guest referee. The all-time greatest special guest referee, Shane McMahon. And they turn the tables and Shane's got a hold of Shawn and Triple H's got the sledge. And he's like, come on, hit him, hit him. And Triple H is like, I want you to see this. And he goes for the hit. And he hits Shane McMahon instead. No! Dodges. Everybody goes wild. Triple H looks like, you know, he fucked up, but he just kind of accepts it. Like, he went through all the stages of grief within, like, two seconds. And he's like, ah, fuck it. Yeah, he's he kind of shit. And Vince McMahon, his demon seed, his only seed, his son, is dying. Is dead, basically. He jumps to the ring, and he's coddling him like he's never done in the entirety of his life. Only in television would Vince McMahon care if his son died. Definitely a fictitious uh, depiction <laughs> of yeah. how a father would love a, a dying son. Yeah, like, oh, 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 and he looks at Sean, and he's just fucking pissed. Oh, not Sean, Triple H, and that was the Raw Down Rebound. Also, I, I think that's the longest fucking, like, Raw Rebound ever. It was like four oh, minutes really? long. Well, it's because yeah. they knew we were coming. Yeah. They but really yeah. put on a show for you guys. Now, dude, yeah. Vince McMahon holding up his son like fucking Ivan the Terrible as it fades out. It's really just the fucking... That's it. Yeah, it, it's pretty top tier. Honestly, it's a good <laughs> angle. I, I'm guessing they're going to do something He's big scary. with it. <laughs> Alright, I got Sorry. Jared Steele, pal. His last match, he lost to Evan Snow in the ROW TV taping. In 2015. R-O-W. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. He also it's lost R-O-W. to Fala Ba in 2015. Oh, no. He lost to Fallout Boy? Yeah. That's so fucked. He went down, oh. down. Looks like Jared were going down, swing it. <laughs> yeah. We went the same way on it. Yeah. I'm going to swerve you off the road, though, pal. Because ah, Booker T and Finley are teaming up against Gunner Scott, Shits Pants, and Chris Benoit. What a match. Gunner Scott, when he walks down to the ring, I don't know if he has like the wrong tights on, the wrong pants, the wrong something, but he is walking like he uh he has something in his pants. He's clenching. I, I, He's clenching how, hard. How, how could he though? It has his name on the fucking tights. Because he's he's trying to <laughs> he's trying to keep himself bricked up so they can mm. see see like oh, all he's trying to prove yeah. himself to Chris Benoit. Are you yeah. saying he has an, an an illegal uh device that's performing that's enhancing his performance to keep him bricked up? I think that's why he's walking like that. Look, all, all I'm saying, yeah, he, he 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 clearly wants to nominate Chris Benoit, but I would ask Chris Benoit about his home gym equipment if I was trying to get as like supposed up as Chris Benoit. <laughs> I think that's the real game changer. I right. am sick. To death of these long ass Chris Benoit, Booker T, Finley matches. They're so long. And now they all get to be in one match. Oh, goodness gracious. What do you mean? You love all of them. They also announced that Chris Benoit versus Finley's on the pay per view. So, are you guys excited? That's the match that we haven't (laughs) got. Right before the pay per view starts, we get that. Okay. I'm excited. Finley like you fighty. I hate Finley, dude. <laughs> Why? This guy sucks. He loves to fight, bro. What? You, you, you liked him last week? When? Why yeah, did you watch Green King, dude? When? What match was he in? I don't know. Maybe it was the week before. He fought Bobby. <laughs> Look, yeah, and I hated that match. He's he your guys' like version exclusive Kane. All right? You can't fucking hate him. Green you King. Green Kane. Blows. What the fuck? You guys got Green Kane. <laughs> and Bowflex yeah. Kane. <laughs> oh, that's true. But, like, he's a rare. He's like a mythic. He oh, yeah. Have. I'm He's not. GameStop exclusive. I do not want to go beat for beat through this match. It is way too fucking long. If this anybody has any notes, you can so talk long. about it. Anybody else, uh, take it. It was, I, eight, it was eighteen and a half minutes. I. It was this fucking, match when I stopped taking notes. Funny, funnily enough. Yeah. Perhaps just, that I, says something it about just the kept match. Going. Dave Meltzer. Dave Meltzer gave I it a three stop. and a quarter star. <laughs> Fuck him. Dave wow. Meltzer. <laughs> like and subscribe. Please. Uh, people keep saying like Dave lost his touch. He never lost his touch. He's I think always been the same. I don't think he yeah. had it. But I, I will say, 
I I passed out through this match, so I had to rewatch it. <laughs> yeah, Look, sounds about all right. I could say is that this match had Chris Benoit's theme song mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> play before it, so mm. you know that that weighs a lot. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Huh? Whatever. But you know, Lady Peace is a great tune. Too bad Nancy Benoit did not get any peace. Come on, man! Come on, dude! And the second most memorable part of the match was that somebody had a Mr. <laughs> Kennedy sign in the crowd. Look, there's nothing wrong. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with anything that Nico says. I'm, I stand with Nico. I, I don't even know what Nico it. said. I, wasn't I, listening I also him, stand with Nico. I believe in him. Thanks, guys. I'm glad Smack Up appreciates it. Look, also, somebody has a sign that's like 10 feet tall that's like Las Vegas, New World Order, uh, something in, in loving memory of Eddie Guerrero or whatever the he hell. Was, that dude, that dude saw the future and he saw Fallout New Vegas was coming. <laughs> nice. You know, he knew he had to lock in. This is not enough Eddie Guerrero on this show. Oh, there's definitely not enough Eddie Guerrero mentions. Where's it? When's Eddie Gordo gonna get in on? Ooh. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's what I need to do. A little know. bit of Capoeira on SmackDown. Bro, yeah. that'd be good. We need some of that funky shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Oh, I no. mean, like, also, <laughs> we've we've told the tale of how fucking Gunner Scott gets excommunicated because he's right, a they're gonna Chris do Benoit him like light. They did John Wick. But That's Finley fun. really fucking like punched him in some way. He's like bleeding. I don't know if Gunner Scott's now bleeding from his nose or his mouth, but Finley just fucking clubs him until he tags in Booker and Booker gets his shit in in the corner until Gunner flips over, counters and gives him a German. Uh, no. Michael yeah. Cole does not let you forget that he looks like Chris Benoit and the moves he does are also the moves Chris Benoit does. That These are shades of Benoit we're getting from Gunner Scott. He's Chris Benoit Jason. Oh boy. Thanks Michael Cole. Listen man. I'll just run through that finish real quick. Don't you know, please. All right, give us the finish. Okay. Yeah, hurry. Booker Booker I hits a it. pretty big kick on the Scott. Uh, Bobby Lashley appears out of nowhere. He just takes a seat on the throne. He starts laughing. Uh, Charmel's like, what the hell? Booker, look! Booker! <laughs> and Booker's like, what? Yeah, and then Booker, he looks... Booker was looking at Bobby like how I look when somebody tells me that Pearl Harbor happened. I'm like what? <laughs> no, again. Oh, again. Damn it! Oh shit! And then Gunner Scott yeah, capitalizes on talking, it. You're talking about the Ben Affleck. It hits right? a crucifix pin. <laughs> yeah. And beats Booker. Gunner Scott and Chris Benoit are your victors. Also, Gunner Scott got a fucking pinfall victory. This is bullshit. Over Booker so again, with a crucifix pin. Yeah. Yeah. This was uh... sick. So also, I guess. You know, look, I'm new here. Why is Booker T and Finley like on a team? They're what? always on a team. And they'll always be yeah, on a team. Why? You'll just, I, they're just boys. I don't know. Yeah, they, they just like hanging out, man. It's like, I don't know. You they just didn't seem like they had any particular chemistry. Just one of them is green and likes to fight, and the other one uh, has charisma and uh, is Booker T. The less yeah. we ask questions, the more it makes sense. <laughs> it's about respect. It's respect. Also, Benoit busted out the WrestleMania for real uh, mustard and ketchup. Uh, yeah, the mustard ketchup. Tights. The not, do, 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 do. not Not a good look here. You're just I don't like that, dude. I've only seen Chris Benoit in those tights since we've done this. It's yeah. a bad look. Yeah, it's tough. You got two boring Benoit matches. I'm sorry, guys. It's okay. I'm used yeah, to but it. Bobber Lashler got to sit in the chair. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that worked pretty nice. I'm happy for Bobby. It's true. He looked really comfy. I mean, that guy's got to get a championship within a year. He's probably going to be SmackDown champion, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. It'll definitely be <laughs> a, a championship yeah. uh, WWE brand show. Yeah. All right. Oh, this oh, show fucking sucks. And talk about, like, Man. yeah, like, more, like, lackluster. I got to say, like... <laughs> we get another Tatanka promo, but this one just didn't didn't have the juice. It's still a good Tatanka promo. I feel like he just may have over, overstayed a little bit, you know? He'll be here next yeah. week. That's pretty it much was, it. it was, there were just some 
little, it's just a little bit of some sitting bullshit. He essentially, yeah. essentially, all it was paying off is that he did get initiated, and that he's coming back next week. It really wasn't Guys, to set up anything, but there yeah. are no limits for a true Lakota warrior. All right, it's true. very it's true. He ain't, he ain't wrong. Lakota's gonna come back, and he's gonna grand slam all of the belts back to back. Just you wait. Yeah, the Lakota are generally generally one of some of the most uh, spirited the native tribes they're actually pretty cool i I recommend their history if you want to check them out are you making a meme? oh yeah bro what are you not making a joke i'm being legitimate the lakota tribe like historically there's a lot of cool history about them i don't trust you pale you never trust me i think you trust nico i believe in nico nico's up to no good i've i'm not i'm just saying i've known nico for over a decade he's up to no good dude i believe in nico (laughs) I thank you, Pete. At least somebody I, believes in me. I am also uh, once again standing up for Nico. I yeah. know Nico for ten if minutes. If you're a he's... real Nico head, drop a comment. <laughs> drop he's it. Crooked. I need my Nico heads. Where are they? <laughs> you can't call your fans that, dude. <laughs> Where are the Nico why heads? Can we call them Nico heads? Where are my Nico heads at? Come this on. Is yeah. Nico <laughs> this is why he can't. This is why he can't go Nico back Nico to. Knee knee. He can't go back to South Dakota because of this, dude. Wow. You can't do this again. <laughs> we're, all, we're all my Nikom poops at. Yeah, oh. man. Nico, Nico, Nico poops. You Nico. can't say this, dude. Nico's going to show up, dude. To what? I don't know. He's going to show up, though. Look, Ty, you keep, you keep talking some smack on Nico's name. He's going to pull up like how Dalip Singh pulled up on The Undertaker. It's oh, true. Okay. you're right. You're right. You're right. Just Game say wrong. my name and I will appear. Saying, dude. Fair enough. Yeah, dude. Davari's this is here, a, a man. Crazy ass package. Yeah, Davari is like, hey, the Undertaker thinks he's cool. He's not cool. The Great Kali is cool. Check this out. And we get a vignette of the Undertaker just abusing his opponents over the years. Mm-hmm. Then suddenly, the Great Kali emerges and just like some like Punjabi prayer like echoes in the shot of the great Kali and Undertaker staring each other down. And then we get a awesome. replay of the beat down from about three or four weeks ago. Kali just demolishing the Undertaker chops and headbutts and all. Yeah. He's like, yeah, that's my guy. That's my guy. Yeah. Undertaker's stupid. How do, how do our guests, our intruders feel about, the power of Dalip Singh. All right. I think the, when he's pure, oh yeah, he said guest. Go ahead, guest. I'm sorry. Yeah, pizza guest. I'm always uh, a guest, but you, you go ahead. I'm a guest. Listen, the great Kali, that promo, like for great Kali, awesome. He's the strongest man who's ever existed of all time. He, he karate chopped the Undertaker's head in half. You will love him. You will fear him. He is indomitable. The great collar. It's so yeah. true. Uh, Until we get to the kissing contest. I think, yeah. What the I what? Mean, I, the kissing what? contest. But what? yeah, I thought it was good. Good promo. I like his look. He definitely looks like he could do some fucking damage. But I, I have a question for my fellow Raw Downers. Okay. Uh-huh. Wait, uh huh. Wait. Unstoppable force versus immovable object. If we put the Great Kali and ECMO <gasps> into the ring, oh my like, God! Wow, you wouldn't. Wow, like, they, they couldn't get him out of the ring. Yeah, <laughs> would it just be a forever fight for yeah. till the end of time? <laughs> you know, I always uh, thought about forever. that as a kid. That's probably why they keep on separate brands. You know, yeah, yeah. Can't they, have they can't. They can't intertwine paths. It would be destruction for the universe. Yeah. Dude, all uh, I know is that when they go back to Davari, is it just me? Again, you know, I'm a guest here. I don't know. Davari has like negative charisma. He's yeah. I, I felt like he's terrible on the mic. <laughs> Come on. Can we just can we just have can we just have the great Kelly stand next to him at all times? That's he gets the leader oh. power bonus or something. Like that's so, how it works. I'm, I'm kind of... Go ahead. I was going to say, I'm kind of with you, Dave. Uh, but, like, I think it's in the sense it's like, 
I mean, I think he has about as much charisma as uh, Estrada does on Raw. I kind of just think they're the same character. It's just... Divide. I... So, Armando Alejandro I Estrada... Thousand. I feel like he gets a power boost because he carries, like, 50 cigars in his jacket at all times. Yep. And, well, he... And, he, and he holds up the cigar slash sausage slash penis up in the air... Yeah, and you know it's 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 over for the opponent. Yeah. Not just that, but also Armando Alejandro Estrada will begin to just ramble incoherently and then yell <laughs> "Como se dice," yeah. and then just say something else in Spanish that may or may not matter. But and then he goes "Ha ha," and then keeps going, and then the crowd claps every time. Yeah, whereas uh, Davari's like speaks like a normal human being. Yeah, he's and I just think that is to his detriment. Yeah, as a, like, as a fan of the father-in-law from the George Lopez sitcom, uh, I love Alejandro sure. Estrada. Yeah. yeah, whatever his name is, he always goes on about Cuba and hiding money in his asshole. Vincent, or whatever. same guy. Yeah, well, yeah. No. I mean, I'm, you I'm have to kidding. consider that that we're getting a charisma buff, somewhat, right? Because, like, all right, think of it in Fallout terms. All right. right. Uh oh. We got the great Kali, who's straight up unintelligible. That man may as well have one int right now. Not just yeah. he could be smart, but one int in English, you know. Sure. And every time he speaks, it's purely unintelligible. But you're just kind of like, yeah, I can rock with that, Mister Kali. Yeah. Look how big you are. You're so scary. Wow. Okay. And then I... so, but he yeah, has no. like twenty charisma. It's like maxed out. He put all the points in charisma and strength. Mm. There's nothing else. It's all you need. No, hundred yeah. percent. And I was going to say, like, I love the fact that they just let him cut promos not in English, and everyone just goes, "Yeah." Yep. There's yeah. no need to explain. There's no. There's not even an attempt at explaining. He's just yelling. It's just incoherent nonsense. It's great. Yeah. What do you What do you need to elaborate? He got it in one. He said Undertaker, and then yelled in Punjabi, and then he threw so the mic great. at the floor. We get it. <laughs> it was. It was great. Undertaker. He cooked. he cooked and he know he cooked. What a fucking promo, dude. It was good. It was good. Uh guys, Velocity. Oh god. This weekend, Gregory Helms Velocity. fights Psychosis Shitty. before he defends his title against Super Crazy at Judgment Day. Are you guys excited yep. for Velocity? You guys That's... are gonna watch that, right? Yeah. I'll tell you what, That's I so... definitely want us to watch it. Now nah, that's some Veloc shit here. Come on, dude. Like and comment <laughs> and subscribe if you are with the soldiers of Raw Down and Smack Up and not wanting to watch Velocity. <laughs> yeah, hey, hold on, guys. I have watched the all brave, episodes. The, the brave, about the four, the brave Raw Down and Smack Up right? fighters. <laughs> I seen at the store that Lamborghini has an energy drink now. Oh. So I think we all need to drink Lamborghini energy. So we can reach high velocity. Oh, you yeah, oh, might be awesome. awesome. I think this needs to happen. <sighs> that would be dude, the worst pot of all time. Dude. You're fucking fiending on caffeine, dude. Dude, I'll, dude, I'll drop some alcohol <laughs> and drink some fucking Lamborghini energy. You're not allowed. Go. You're not allowed. Only <laughs> Why? Lamborghini. Allowed. <laughs> Why not? You're just not allowed, dude. Not after that. Lamborghini. Not after what? Not after the last lock? time. What happened last time, Nico? Uh, it's been Poor a while. I, I, I was going pretty wild in uh, 2017. It's true. 2017? Yeah, it's been a while. What's the great Nico? Somebody Nico, uh... gonna get their ass kicked! Oh, shit. Oh. Somebody gonna get their wig split! Oh. <laughs> Bring him oh, up, beat him hey. off, suck his dick, suck his dick, beat him off, beat him off, suck his dick, suck his dick. Never be That's scared right. of a man. <laughs> Bro, there's the strongest man of all time versus the guyest dude of all time. Oh, no, 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 because then you got Mark Henry in the ring, and then you hear, oh, yeah! Look, it doesn't matter who comes out of the ring, comes out to the ring to fight Mark Henry. Mark Henry's got his music. We already talked about how he released himself from the time universe. The prison. time chamber, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. 
you know, with the help of Nintendo DS, it's okay to song. touch. Mm-hmm. It's okay to touch. You know, we got a lot of sponsors today. Nintendo DS. And then we get a sponsorship from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Click it or ticket, dude. Click it or ticket. You don't want none of that. Put your seatbelt on, especially if you're listening to this podcast. Another sponsor from Burger King. Have it your way. At this time, it would have made me go to Burger King because they have the crown chicken nuggets. You Bring it not. back. Ooh, well, yeah, they had a crown chicken nuggets. Yeah. Bring it back, BK. Bring back the Yumbo. I'm going to make my Yumbo declaration no. right now. I want it back, Burger King. No I Yumbo. will buy it for $8 if you bring it back. Rich guy over here. I will buy it for $10, just how good the Yumbo is. A $10 Yumbo? Dude, I would buy it. I'd buy you two of them. What are we even talking about anymore? Don't bullshit me. Throw up the Yumbo on screen. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, bro. Gross. <laughs> Gross. I'm no selling the Yumbo, dude. Dude, come on. Bro. But you would know who didn't sell? Matt Hardy. Oh. Because yeah, he died in two seconds. A dimeless shitter. He comes out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think the Watch raw down people uh, understand bro- how broken baby viral it feels to get that oh, yeah in your system. Oh, oh yeah. Big dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mario time. Dude, this episode blows, dude. What happened? (laughs) This is a a really bad go home. Uh, I think they kind of blew their load last week. Last go home was also bad, though. Yeah, but it was better than this. And they're like, what do we do? Like, (sighs) I don't know. Like, to be honest, this one doesn't matter because we got the giant uh, one night stand coming up. Cool. So, we hate ECW. Yeah. So this is basically, I mean, this. let's be real, this is the backlash of SmackDown. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Of course. Look, Matt Hardy tries his hardest. He hits a mm-hmm. uh, off the apron to the floor double axe handle. That's the excitement Matt Hardy's known for nowadays. Yep. He gets Mark Henry back in the ring and hits a second rope leg drop to the back of Mark Henry's neck. Again, this guy used to be able to move five years ago, <laughs> and you he, would now not he walks know like it. a like a baby with a loaded diaper. I'm telling uh, you guys, he's the guyest dude of all time. He's, he just, he's just around. He is one of the fellas of time. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Time. Mark, oh, yeah. Mark Henry agrees. He puts him in a bear I hug. Those, I love that Legend of Zelda antagonist. That's right. Finish the match, Joe. Finish the match. No, There's don't finish the match. I would be stuck here forever. <laughs> Matt Henry, Matt Henry breaks out of the bear hug, <laughs> uh, and then he jumps off the ropes. But Mark Henry catches him, hits him with the world's strongest slam with authority, <laughs> kills him, picks up Matt Hardy again to give him another world's strongest blammo. Don't say he does it. No way. He gets the win. How dude. would he do it again? Oh he does my it. god, bro, come it's on. Sunday. That's crazy. Kurt, you've been watching my tape. It's not going to matter. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> like, this, this just doesn't matter after fucking Kurt Angle buried this, man. Like, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking A, man. It's like, <laughs> oh, wow, you killed Matt Hardy? I'm so impressed. Who, who hasn't, dude? Yeah, exactly. Oh, dude. Hi. Man, is Adam Copeland <laughs> killing his ass? What? What'd you say? What? We got a real segment. Oh, can you tell me about Vito and Nunzio? Oh yeah, yeah. So this Vito, fun part of the night, I think. Vito's oh, in the yeah. back. The only fun part of the night. He's like Nunzio. Yeah. I want you to hit the showers, pal. I want to get in there. I want to scrub you down. I'm gonna get you back in there. I, oh, oh. I'm going to get them two sisters, I'm gonna get this from, the, two sisters from the bakery. The bakery. I'm going to... Well, hold they're on. They're going to be on our shui And you then know? Nunzio's like, I don't really want a shower. He goes, no, no, no. I'm, uh, promise me, big dog. I'm going to get you in that shower. I'm going to rub you, slather you up a little bit. Hold up. I'm going to call. And he gets a call and he runs away. And then, of all fucking people, Paul Burchill <laughs> comes up. <laughs> open flask. And he's That's like, right. hey, hey. Yeah, he's drunk off his ass. Like, hey, Nunzio, let me, let me talk to you real quick. I was at the market the other day, <laughs> and I saw this big woman. I swear to God, it was Vito. 
turned around everything. Yes. And Nunzio gets fucking pissed. He's red in the face. And he's like, How could you say that? Like, Did Orlando put you up to this? You must be drunk off your ass, Paul. Vito doesn't wear skirts. How? He chases them. Yeah. That's right. And Paul's like, whatever, dude. <laughs> I don't this care. Is the most, this is the most Italian segment ever. <laughs> but what do you mean by that, Nico? Do you, fact do you, do you know a Vito that also, that also cross-dresses in their free time? Nah. I, nah. No. But, but, <laughs> nah. but I will say. Nico, Nico, are you Vito? No. <laughs> are you sure? Uh, Well... Maybe I might have got a name change. <gasps> nah, I'm just Nico, kidding. Nico's a veto? Oh, fuck. Nito's veto. Oh, fuck. Now, but uh, just the way Nunzio reacts, it's like, that's exactly what I'd expect, being around Italians. Like, I mean, you could even be telling the truth, and like he knows it. He'll still say that shit. Just because no he feels like he has to. Gotta defend that's my just... boy. Yeah, it's just old school. It's down. Yeah. It's like you could say his shoes are bad, and he'd be fucking screaming his head off. Like, what do you mean his shoes are bad? Those shoes get more skirts than you can. Oh shit! Like, it, it's just the most Italian response from Nunzio. And I don't know. It, it, I, I I'm not a fan of these segments and the direction they're going, but they're building something, I guess. I guess, yeah. It's, yeah, it's something. <laughs> do you want me to get my Excalibur back on for today? Yeah, give us, give us the run. Yeah. Do you want no Ooh, bits? Do you want no bits? Dude, I can just go through wanna, it in 15 you seconds. Do you want me to time it for you? I can go, I can go under 20 seconds. You want me to time <laughs> under it? 20 seconds? That's yeah. No claim. way. No way. For the whole Judgment Day card? It's not no hard. Way. I don't have to put I don't have to put bits in it. Okay. No way. Dude, you, do it. You no, I'm saying do it. Yeah, you got to do Ty Scalibur, which means oh, there have to be some bits. A little. Oh, God. I don't know if I can do it in 20 seconds if I got bits. All right, at all at right, least here. two of the matches have to be this Sunday. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, Ain't okay. Wrong. All right, three, on. two, one. This Sunday, we got Undertaker versus Great Khali in the biggest match of all time. We got the King of the Ring finals, Booker T versus Bobby Lashley. Who's going to be the king this Sunday? We got a Cruiserweight Championship match. Gregory Helms, the shitter, will defend his title against Super Crazy. <laughs> Eminem defends their WWE Tag Team Championship against London and Kendrick. It'll be amazing, folks. Melina versus Jillian and Melina's second match in history. Chris Benoit versus Finley has been added to the card. That's going to be a Kane match. I'm telling you right now, Kurt Angle versus Mark Henry. And who's going to be the world's heaviest man? And then the world's heavyweight <laughs> championship match. Is Rey Mysterio defending his belly against the Machismo JBL this Sunday? Buy it on pay per view. Call BleachReport.com right now. 45 seconds. Yeah. yeah I, that's not bad. On fucking that, was, that was longer than last week's, which was clocking in at about 42. They added a sec. They had a match. Bowflex Kane. One I mean, second, one out. match. Versus Green Kane. It yeah, checks right. out. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. I like that. Last week. Great Khali to shred Rey Mysterio again. They just got they got to show it one more time. One more time. One more time. Yeah, Rey Mysterio it. bouncing off of Great Khali. Yeah, it was cool. Man, not oh, for the man. champion. It's not. No. <laughs> no. Not when this is supposed to be your world champion. Dave, the last time Rey Mysterio's won on TV was uh, the week after Mania. Yeah. Sorry, you guys have a weak champion. I don't have to tell you. No, he's got it's machismo, really dude. He's getting bullied by a racist guy. What do you want? <laughs> it's because, you know what? I think the losing streak is because Rey Mysterio is coming out with that stupid fucking sun visor. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes, it is. I it looks fucking bad. Yell that. Yep. that was fucking <laughs> disgusting. I, yeah, I was going to say, I don't like happy Rey Mysterio. What do you like, mean? Guys will, well, no, he's got his little visor on and he's got like an all black mask. So you can, so his face really pops, and he's just walking around, just grinning and all happy to meet his execution. I yeah. did not like it. I, he needs to get he, serious. He yeah. does need to wear less black, though. What? Yeah. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean? What do I mean? Look, I, Judgment Day. He better have I, I don't funny looking color. gear. I, 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 I kind of like Ray Mysterio's outfits when he's got some more colors thrown in there. When it's like too dark. Yeah, I don't know. Cheese. He's got machismo, like, I mean, like, I mean, he still, like, shines, but it's like, 
I don't know. I feel like when he's got the lighter colors, it's just like when he goes like quick and when he moves in a ring, it just it just aesthetically looks better. Yeah, no, I agree. Look, that's why football players wear the white gloves and the white shoes. It just looks like good and like clearly defined. Yeah. Also, because it kind of you can't really kind of tell like when they're in bounds or out of bounds that much, but that's different. Like yeah. last week's gear, Rey Mysterio, he uh, was wearing the all white with the with the Chargers uh, aesthetic, with the like the the dark blue and the, the yellow and the Thunderbolt. That accent. sounds good. It looked good. Look, we can see it again here on the the SmackDown uh, Smack of the Week, brought to you Whoa. by Click It or Ticket yeah, from the. From the National Highway Safety Traffic Administration. Thanks, we get to see Great Khali murder Rey Mysterio <laughs> for the fourth time tonight. I'm fucking sick of this. <laughs> Folks at home, wouldn't you know it? That outfit does look better. They were right. I'm glad we could see it here. Woohoo! JBL's here again! Ding, 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 ding. And guess what? He's on commentary. Again. He says Ray looks terrible. He says, Ray, I have a question for you. Do you even know where you are right now? And then Ray's about to say something, and JBL goes, Ah, we're in Albuquerque. It's 2006, Ray. Do you know what day it is? And Ray goes, May 19th? No. 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 He said the code, dude. He knows we're watching. No, fuck. That's right, my boy. Kane making his run in on SmackDown, baby. Slow chemical. All 11 fingers. What? Finger 11. God damn it. <laughs> he got your Come ass, on. bro. You Come on matter. this day, I have eleven on this fingers. Day. On this day, on this day, how the fuck was I supposed <laughs> to know that? What the fuck <laughs> is that smell? <laughs> what the fuck is that smell? I thought you were a Canaanite, you fucker. No, that's Nico. <laughs> fake night. Yeah, you were too. You're a faker. Oh, this uh, is fucked help! Up. Ray, Ray's face is the face I had. I realized he said he said the word. I couldn't believe it. Okay. <laughs> Ray looks genuinely fucking scared. Oh yeah. shit! Because the fire explodes from around the SmackDown fist. JBL's <laughs> laughing as it goes to red. Ray's like, "Oh shit!" He probably actually had no idea who this was going to be. <laughs> looks like he's about to cry. Put his hands on his yeah. head. He's like, "Yeah, dude." He he, he reacted way too hard to know that this was going to be Kane. <laughs> Michael Cole and Taz are, like, actually pleading with JBL to call this off. It's like, I you're know. a sick man. You're disgusting. There was He's, he's going to leave Rey Mysterio in a pulp. A okay, pulp? Words. <laughs> oh. right. That's why I'm here. I came here to watch the carnage. Oh, and please Kane. tell me. What are, you, what are you doing with your boy? Why'd you come here and summon summon your demon on us? Oh, I heard that your champion needed to get his uh, his wind cut from his sails. So, oh, you know, man. we had to we had to let our boy Jacob Goodnight get one final sick one in on the anniversary of his murder. That's true. Simply what had the to fuck do is it. that smell? Indeed, bro, that <laughs> smell is Raven Studios shit pan. <laughs> He's being massacred. Well, that's um, why he likes Pyro. <laughs> If you can throws Ray into like the corners from the middle of the ring, I think this is the most Kane or Ray Mysterio has moved in weeks. <laughs> well, that's good because he's Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, and uh, Michael Myers all rolled into one. Yeah. The ultimate being. The ultimate life form, some would say. He's like cars. It's fucked yep. up. When the camera's on JBL at the announce desk. You see, like a like a guy looks like with like a Kodak camera, trying to like console who I assume is his kid. He's like, eh, "It's okay, Rey Mysterio. He's gonna fight, you know. He's he's gonna he's gonna do it because he's the champion of SmackDown." As yeah, we cut to Kane just giving the most hellacious Irish whips to Ray in the corner. Ray is bleeding from the nose. 
Kane picks him up from the neck. Like he does the 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 boogeyman uh, slash great colleague fucking backdrop onto the floor. You really see that he is leaking. Oh, dude! And fucking he throws him into the ropes. Uh, Rey Mysterio climbs the ropes to try to jump onto him, and just gets caught out of midair with a big boot to the chest, and just executed. Like there was no hope. There was no hope for your man. It was nasty. Couldn't believe it. This shit just sucks, bro. <laughs> this just sucks. So fucked up. Now I guess would you guys rather have your your world your world big champion get absolutely squashed every week or have some sort of uh three man handicap match for five weeks? I want the three man handicap match. Yeah, I'm, want I want it so bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm keeping. Yeah, I'll keep what we got. John Cena is a strong champion, and he is protected pretty well. I, I, like, I'd rather have John Cena forever than fucking this Rey Mysterio. Like, I feel bad for you guys. Like, this is your champion. He sucks. <laughs> he got squashed by our weakest soldier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like fucking Kane doesn't beat shit until this May nineteenth gimmick, and like at least most people put up a fight with him, but fucking Rey Mysterio just gets destroyed. He just fucking dog walked. Kane like fists yeah. his head, almost <laughs> accidentally pulls off Rey's mask. Uh, oh, Rey he, breaks oh, out of it. That. Tries to hit him with a West Coast pop, but Undertaker hits him with a nasty uppercut. <laughs> and then... <gasps> Spooky! Oh, the the May 19th head's bouncing around. It's going oh crazy, goodness. dude. It's going crazy. You can't stop it. It's bouncing around. Kane is convulsing on the floor. He can't stop freaking out. And JBL gets off commentary going, Kane, what are you doing? Kane, stop it! Stop! Mm. You gotta beat up Ray. You're it's it just it's not a big deal. It's only May nineteenth. Uh oh. Uh, oh my goodness. I, 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 yeah, Ray I, hit Ray hit Kane with a six one nine the first time JBL got up to try and stop him, get him out of his May nineteenth fugue state. But it didn't matter because after because after the six one nine, Remy Mysterio goes up for a six uh, uh, West Coast pop again. Doesn't matter. Choke slams him. Yep. Kane uh, spazzes out again, and JBL gets into the ring. He's like, I don't speak a monster, but you gotta kill him. You gotta kill that guy. Yeah, fucking Ray Mysterio smoke his said ass. May 19th. And oh. then, and then oh, JBL yes. does the face. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, shit. And Kane does the face, and then JBL does the face. And, uh, so, and so Kane kills our main event for the pay-per-view. And leaves them in a no contest. Nobody wins. Nobody loses. Kane is now standing top our main event. I love that the worst storyline of Raw of all time is the main event for SmackDown this week. I uh-huh. It's pretty that. good. It's fucking bullshit. And we're that. suffering. <laughs> yeah. You only get Why? it once. I got we got this for weeks. Yeah. Fine, but he's not in the main event crushing <laughs> our champion. <laughs> Like at least, at least in the in the in the handicap matches you guys are talking about, he the, the whoever he's not there. he can play the game. The, the champion can fight in a match. Yeah, Rey Mysterio has been getting fucking dog walked and humiliated for the past five weeks. It's because it, like what Mania he wins it cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the week after Mania he beats Randy Orton. It doesn't matter because Randy Orton is going to get killed the next week and is going to get suspended for smoking that hashisha mm. whatever free free my boy randy the week after that he has a he's a rematch against kurt angle in in great britain or whatever on the european tour gets crushed by mark henry no contest cool the next week uh i don't even think he's on the show uh <laughs> the week after that he uh, gets embarrassed by jbl on the mic the next week after that he gets crushed by mark henry uh, and then we get, like, the next the week, which was last Ray week, just stuttering through promos against JBL, which sucks. It's it was a really bad matchup because JBL is so good at being racist. Yeah, Ray was <laughs> on the mic. he's stellar on the mic, dog. You can't kill him. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I do like this. 
storyline because I do feel like this will play in Judgment Day. A fucking JBL, he co- he he does something smart and he immediately fucks himself. Yeah, well, I mean, that's kind of the character we've got is that he's like yeah. overconfident, but still ends up working out for him. Yeah, it's a, I actually have no idea what the results will be of May nineteenth since. We just watch it. We're de- currently recording in 2006. This is our reaction to the show live. Yeah. And of course, naturally. So yeah, we'll just have I... to find out this Sunday. Yeah. Well, I won't. No. I don't have to do that. So yeah, you guys, you guys don't have to do this. I got a more of a problem than just Ray. Perhaps you should. I got a more of a problem than just Ray. I'll go with it quick because we're we're okay. nearing the end. So not only yeah. does Ray look like a fool, our tag team champs can't sniff a win. They lose mm-hmm. every all the time. They just fucking suck. They can't win one on ones. They can't win tag okay, team title like, or champ or sorry, tag team matches. Me, allow me to interrupt for a moment. It's okay because they're heels. Yes, but also the shit eating heels. Our U.S. champion matter. does not care about being U.S. champ. He wants the big belt and he's not defending it. And then our cruiserweight champion is never on the show, and they throw him on velocity, and then they always make a joke that he sucks. So that's our that's the SmackDown champions. They're all jokes. Yeah. Who's, who's the cruiser bruiser? Uh, Gregory Helms. Gregory Helms. Oh, the raw guy, kid. by the way. Yeah. He's he, they they said his matches on Velocity. Also, Good luck. Also Watch not it. Not the Hurricane. Yeah, right not now. the Hurricane. Yeah. He is just Gregory Helms. He's the Hurricane. He can't run from it. The yeah. The point is, it doesn't matter about the heels or faces. All of our champs are jokes, and they're, they're not just... taken serious. Well, that's sad. Well, uh, let's see our champs. We have John, John Cena, Cena, overpowered. Uh, we have Mickey James, who's taken. I mean, she's got a goofy character, but she's taken pretty seriously. Like she's it, a threat. Yeah, in Spirit the Squad doesn't lose. Line. Yep. Spirit we got. Yeah, Spirit Squad does not lose a single match. They don't. They don't lose. There's five of them. Yeah, the joke. <laughs> any oh, tag team match, they, they don't win. lose any matches. And they had an awesome finish this week. Yep. With that bulldog fucking into the ring. That, that was pretty awesome. And uh, you got uh, Sheldon Benjamin. Yeah. Was, who's Benjamin. on every damn show, regardless if he wins or loses. He's just like a focal point. There's he's just a void of power pretty, in SmackDown right now. And he's pretty protected, and he's pretty good. We, yeah. the we really problem, need Batista back. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Batista gets injured at the very beginning of the year. Mm-hmm. Then you get Kurt Angle to step in, and Kurt Angle does a fantastic job. But Ray's mm-hmm. so over, and Eddie Guerrero's so dead. We need Ray to win. Mm-hmm. Ah, um, Eddie, Eddie, and, uh, Eddie. But but then what happened? Eddie. The other reason is like Kurt Angle isn't also not signing an extension, so it's like you you just can't give him the title again. Mm-hmm. Mark Henry probably should be champ. That's it. Mark Henry should probably be the champion. Yeah. But he never somebody, won anything somebody, in 96. Somebody who can How win can the match. <laughs> somebody who can win a goddamn match. Yep. What about Taker? No, leave me Not alone. Not Taker. <laughs> leave what? Me alone. No, and he, my man, Mark Henry. To, to him and, hard him and Kurt Angle had an awesome match that one time, but that two times, I mean, but that was it. Uh, yeah. Is he, is well, he, he kind of like... Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle threatened it, uh, Undertaker's life and his yeah. own. Kurt Angle because... said, "If you don't, if you don't, if you don't fucking put a banger on there with me, I'll kill you and myself live." Yeah. <laughs> he did it. What an industry the industry would come to know as a Tommy Dreamer. It's very true, yeah, sir. Oh, man. Hopefully, it gets what better at the show. I don't know if Dave's gonna ever join us again after that stinker. Nico is just flows with the wind. I, any I, any I last words from anybody point. else? I can't believe they arrested Naram in Paraguay. Yeah, Paraguay. That's where he's up. been. Yeah. yeah, why don't you bail him out, dude? You're you're the fucking host. Oh yeah, man. come on, Commission. All right, fifty thousand so patrons. Fifty thousand patrons will bail out Narum, and he'll come back yep. on the show and save us. And you've been smacked up. His court, his court ordered you don't have to do this podcast Look, network appearance. We need force... you to send us money in in uh, military bonds, okay? And those then, force and then... one is fall. You've, yep. been You've been May 19th. You've been May 19th. You've been May 19th. May 19th. Oh! May 19th.